please. In Building with Earth Bags, we discovered our family thrive creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be part of our family for this week's adventure. Are you ready, Luna? We currently have all of the window frames and almost all the electrical in on the shop. So now let's get back to the fun part, getting back to that tractor. What's up, there? Into the first roll right here. Oh! That's the biggest toilet paper roll I've ever seen in my it's life. Dirt or tube. Well, that actually did quite a bit. It's got that whole side over there. I think someone asked how long they go, probably at some point. So this is a visual of how long they go. Yeah. True that. Good. And all this, mm -hmm. right? I bet you could do a small building with that. I think so. Very cool. Our new system really takes advantage of, of efficiency and fewer people and that kind of thing, which gives Brie a little bit of spare time. These grasses always remind me of a broom. I made a broom. This is a piece of grass. I want you to just chew on the nib. A very chew on there. Just, just taste it. Nib. A little, I don't know. Like I'm thinking of a pen nib, but mm. it's sweet and nice, mm -hmm. isn't it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Bison's over there making it taste more grass. Grass here. This one, this kind here. Oh yeah. It's the sweetest that I've found so far. Okay. There we go. See how it's nice and clean all the way through. Good stuff. Did you get more grass, Ben? Apparently, yeah. How's that tasting? Like grass. We get snacky, and that's what we would eat. Luna. I'm glad you. Oh, this. Luna's going for it. You know. Then she understands Aww. it. Good stuff. Oh, she tried. She was. She made an effort. She was a Jared. Oh, oh that's nice. I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> We have reached this point. We've widened these, but I'd only widened them so far because I had to take this off. But now that this wall is here, I think we're okay to take this off and put it here <laughs> to finish that up going up. want to drive the skid steer on the outside here take off the braces this one here and those the bracing is really no longer needed at this point because the walls are high enough to be able to support it that's gonna be nice because those things stick out and yeah, always in the trip way. on I suppose that helps a tractor get in too yeah As you seem, there is no seam. We decided we're gonna try it differently and not do tie-offs, just bend overs back and forth. Makes seems sense, to be working doesn't it? pretty well. Yeah, we did it for the next couple layers here and it seems to be working pretty well. Saves on bag material, Fine. speeds us up, does lots of benefits actually. So we're gonna we're gonna keep trying it and see what happens.
here. Yeah. So what are you guys gonna do? Put the cleat on. And then wrap the bag right over the yeah. top. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah. Let's get a hammer. Kershmack. Can you get us a hammer? Or here, use this. Where did that work? I forgot to do this. Watch out. Am I hitting it? The answer is yes. Get a heartbeat. Discovering this idea of just folding the bags over when we get to a spot yes. has made the skid steer thing a lot faster and a lot easier. Yeah, I suppose just because you don't have to unhook. Yeah, Keep going. No, that no. tractor in one spot. Yeah. It seems like we had a comment a while back too that planted that little idea in our yeah. head. Yeah. So, thank the mysterious you. man out there, we thank you. I feel really good about this. I know we got so carried away. Like, forget the rest of this. We were having so much fun with this wall. <laughs> we saved a ton of time, and actually, it's probably more sealed this way where a bag can't roll off the edge. It's held on there by the other bag, you know? It was interesting. When the kids were younger, we really wanted a tractor. I had this dreamy vision. My mom and dad both had. Uh, drove tractors at young ages, like age eight. And I thought it would be really fun for the kids to be able to grow up with a tractor and learning how to drive one. But of course that never happened. We couldn't afford to do that. And now that we've got this little skid steer, in some ways I'm glad we didn't have it when the kids were younger, because I think I'd be a little nervous about the young ones running around with that tractor because it is a piece of machinery that we got to be cautious with. It works out really good now that everybody's grown and adults and it also it brings out the best in Bryson. He's turned it into this bagging machine and he's always tweaking it. We do have a couple modifications we want to make to this skid steer. Small ones. We are experiencing a bit of jamming. His latest one now is closing off some of those air holes to make it more efficient. And he's always thinking and engineering on how to make that better and better. It also creates a new way for us to work with bag, which is keeps it fun for all of us. Lots of fun. This point over. So I think that's gonna be good. Sweet, that's good there. We'll go ahead and wait for a bit, come back and test it and see what happens. Too far. <laughs> He's like, you're being a baby. <laughs> it's too far, I wanted to put it right here. I'm hoping he will. No, it's too far. Should we try the air? Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. All right, should I fire up? Let's do it. to be tying it off each time, but doing it more like a tube of toothpaste. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> air seems to be working really well. We didn't have a single jam. Nice. So fingers crossed, looks like it might be working. Yay. Yeah. Aww. It's so cool. How many did you do? Seven. <laughs> you okay over there, Jerry? Uh-huh. Your arm. <laughs> it's been 40 years. Yeah. I think that's gonna go ahead and wrap up the shop here. It's looking really good. That wall is slowly growing. On Wednesday, Jared and Bree are doing a little bit of online gaming, Minecraft gaming, which those of you who are not familiar with Minecraft, you build. <laughs> so they're over there building away. They're not building physically, they're building online. It's on Wednesday afternoon and it'll be a live stream. Thanks for being a part of our family. And we'll see you on Monday for that podcast. Bye. So we
we think that you should uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Sorry. The garden is unbelievable over there. A uh, close look. Ouch! Oh, that one Careful. hurt. That one hurt. Careful. <laughs> These, see, we don't just get grass here. We get um, slash. <laughs> and that's pretty much what happens when you walk through the grass at some point. It's gonna start, all these little things are gonna turn into little pokies. They're gonna get all over in your socks. And in your, what? What? No, 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 don't leave them. No! <laughs> don't trim the hedge, Jared. What are you doing? I'm just trimming it. <laughs> no! Can I get rid of the poke? family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. We used to love that. Tastes like grass. It got us between meals. Even though mom and dad fed us very a lot, obviously three times a day, we had more food than we had, but we get we get snacky and that's what we would eat. Luna. I'm glad you clarified that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I felt the meat. I was like, like that is like, oh, right. we didn't feed them, they had to yeah, have grass. And have grass. <laughs> also, too, oh, Luna's going for it. Luna. <laughs> is that a like and a subscribe that I see? <laughs> <laughs>